could do that role and that's all fine. But more importantly, that we don't lose good position. So we did, we did all that work to pass their guard, to go into mount, and then they, they just suck their legs back and now they've got, they've got guard back, right? So it seems like a lot of work. Let's look at like how to keep that from happening. So we're gonna go in that exact same position. My partner, put your head down. All right, so I'm in mount. My partner has started that elbow escape. Boom, right here. Just exactly like we did before. We're just simply gonna make sure that we get weight on, on their legs. Like the idea is we just wanna pinch their knees together, right? So we can play this game. If she has an inside position, I'm gonna cross face the crap out of her until she decides to start to fit in the cross face. When she does, I just bring my knee back inside to the hip, okay? What we cannot do is start to look to pass until we have a good underhook, right? Because if we don't, they just, our hips are light and they just start to get, up, get everything back, right? So what we want to do is we want to pin those legs down really well. And while we're working uh, cross space and my partner starts to like look to, to do something about it, I'm going to start stealing inside position, right? So I go under. I have at least one underhook. I would like to have two, that would be ideal. But if I have at least one, now I can start to move forward. And once I start to move forward, I'm going to use my trailing leg to start to free my, uh, my track leg. And now I'm going to get this sort of butterfly now. And then at my leisure, I move forward and I inch up like the one knee and then the next knee. It would probably be better to do that the right way, which is bottom then top. Okay. Now from here, we're already in this good elbow over shoulder position. Let's do something about it. I like to take this uh, cross facing hand. My head needs to be on the other side. Okay. I'm going to pull up and really push this through as far as I can. Where my, my my fingers are in the armpit. The next move, they use my head and I really crank their elbow across their face. Now. I reach up and I grab my own elbow. Shoulder pressure forward, my head goes to the mat, and then I shrug my shoulder. It's a little complicated, the gripping strategy, but eventually we're here, head down, the, the shrug is the thing that finishes it, okay? So, it's essentially a, a, another guard pass, right? So we've got an underhook, Right? We put weight on our partner's legs. We move forward with the underhook. We don't move forward until we have the underhook. We start to use our trailing leg to free our leg. We windshield wiper back to mount. And let's do something with this underhook now. So my cross facing hand is going to come into the armpit. I'm going to push the elbow across my face. And now I don't let her have it back. I'm simply going to use my, my free arm and come and get my far tricep. My head goes down, I pull my elbows in tight, and then I just start struggling with my shoulders. It's pretty terrible in there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just play around with it. It's, it's pretty rough. Like, just crush them. Don't, don't make it too complicated. The, the most important thing is the power comes from my shoulders, not my arms. Unless you're on <laughs> Let's try it. Ready, one, two. 